Today I want to tell you exactly how you can turn your passion into profit. This is for online entrepreneurs, people who are doing business online and they want to turn their passion into become a business or even for the people who are really looking for something to do. They have no idea but they have so many passions that they are things that they are passionate about. This one is for you. So how are you going to turn your passion into profit? How are you going to do it so that you gain much more? If you have not subscribed to this channel, kindly just subscribe down there um, and hit that notification button because I'm about to give you ideas that you've never heard before. I'm going to make you understand that there's a lot way more than you could ever think in the line of business. So let's get started. Point number one, if you want to understand how to make money online, you have to understand how ads work, how ads work. We have something called online ads and if you've never heard, this is the high time that you need to sit down and understand how these ads work. Uh, we have YouTube ads, we have Instagram ads, we have Facebook ads and this is the one of the easiest ways that you can use to make money. You love telling stories, you love giving ideas, you love expressing yourself, you love doing makeup if you're a lady, you love fashion, you love looking good. All those kind of passions can become a business and give you profit. How do they become a profit for you? Let's say you love fashion and you love wearing so much. You love going to uh, like guys who go to Gikomba market and you go and buy some very nice outfit. You buy a very nice jacket and a nice trouser, nice t-shirt, a cap and all that and nice shoes and people are always asking you, wow, how did you buy this? How did you combine the colors? How did you do this and that? It was so unimaginable of you. How do you, how do you do it? You know, you have a passion of wearing so well and yet you're jobless and you're wondering how can I be able to make money I dress so nicely I go to nice places people are always looking at me and telling me hey you look nice your shoes your this and that let me tell you there's a way you can convert the same into a business this are you going to do the moment that you always put this on social media you put it on Facebook you put it on Instagram or you put it on YouTube wherever you go and uh, explain you can basically make an explainer video whereby you're explaining I'm not talking about the doodle video I'm talking about the explaining kind of video whereby you say if I want to choose this and this and this this is how I do it I choose this kind of color and I choose this kind of color for this and then I match this and I know if I put all uh, blue or I put all yellow or all red is going to not bring out the essence that I that I want to bring it out so that's why I have a black shoe and then I have a black uh, shirt and then I have a red and then I have a red I know how to mix the colors this is how I do it you can turn the same thing that you're doing into a passion, explaining to people how you do it, the sequence of doing the things. And then you should have always uh, posting over and over and, and over again. And then after that, we come back to the same thing that I was talking about, learning how ads work, advertisements work. The first time I ever put advertisement on Facebook, I paid only 200 Kenya shillings. 200 Kenya shillings and it went like bushfire that time it was a little bit cheaper than right now right now is um, uh, somehow not very much expensive you can still put uh, ads for even uh, 200 but of course it may not uh, because the community has really become big and ads have gone a little bit higher maybe about 500 would do for a good margin but that time I could put ads for only 200 Kenya shillings and be able to spread my message to so many people. And many people could ask me, Keith, how did you do it? Can you help me in this? I remember when I was selling my book the first time I, I, I ever did a book, it was called The Perfect Student. I put my book on social media, actually it was on Facebook, and then I put an ad. And then many people were asking me, how can I get my book? Can you send me to Lodua, to Marsabi, to Mombasa, to Nakuru, to Kericho, wherever? People were asking me for my book. And then I was wondering, if I spend 200 shillings or 300 shillings, and then I was able to sell uh, 50 or 30 uh, copies of my book just having a good explanation description down there and a good title and a good photo 
it means that my return on investment was really worth it. If I did an ad and then it was shown to hundreds and thousands of people and then I got my revenue back, it is worth to do it. So you need to understand how do ads work? How do YouTube ads work? How do you YouTube partnership program work? How do people get paid on YouTube? How do people get paid on uh, uh, Facebook? Because Facebook as well has its own ads which are put in different videos. You like sharing videos so much. You see a certain nice video, you create it and you change a few things and then you post it on Facebook and then you advertise it and after that it gets so much traffic that you don't need to advertise now it is advertising for itself and putting in some ads in there and those ads turn into be your revenue so there are so many ways that you can be able to get money especially for guys who are working online you can turn your passion to become something profitable another way that you can turn your passion into profit is learning about affiliate marketing Let's say you love uh, you love wearing some nice glasses, uh, not these medical glasses. I'm talking about Googles and stuff like that. You look good when you're walking and you wear some nice Googles and people always asking you, how did you do it? Kev Kevin, Keith or whichever, Peter or Marcy, how did, where do you buy these kind of glasses? They look nice on you. Remember, what you think is normal to you is not always normal to other people. What you think is just any other thing to you is not any other thing to everyone else. And this I can tell you for sure. There are people who will be looking and asking themselves, where do you buy the same kind of Googles or this and this and this and this. Even if you bought them from a, a website, let's say Jumia, you bought it from masoko.com, you bought it from Amazon, you bought it from where. There's a way that you can become an affiliate of that company. If you go to amazon.com and uh, like the other day, some guys were asking me, uh, which 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 um, camera or which equipment do you use for your videos? I have some small lights that I use. I have some gimbal. Uh, I have nice uh, audio, like this one you're seeing here. I always put it in here so that, uh, of course, it doesn't really look awkward. So people ask me, where did you buy them? And for, for, for example, this audio equipment that I'm using, I bought it from CDI Gadgets. CDI Gadgets is in the center of the city, Nairobi. And of course, there is always, they have an affiliate link whereby if you refer people there, through a link, like the way I can tell you, just go down to my subscription down there, you'll find a link to this and this, of course, I've not put right now, eh, because this is not a marketing video. But later on, or in other videos, I can be able to put a link down on the description. And when you click the link, you will go to their website. And whenever you buy something from them, I get a certain commission, I get a certain percentage. That percentage becomes my revenue. So I use something which I have a passion in, my Googles, my audio equipment, my mobile phone where I bought it, or things like that. Every company, which is a reputable company selling things, always has an affiliate link, affiliate uh, program. Affiliate program is just like you're getting commissions. So understand the affiliate program and how it works so that you can connect the same with your passion and it can become a business for you. I hope you're going together. I hope you're understanding me. The other point is the right filming equipment. If you're an online entrepreneur or you're someone who wants to express something online, you have to have the right filming equipment, depending on your content. If you're someone who speaks about business like me and I just need to sit down like here, all I need is just a good light and I need maybe a ring light, I need some nice audio, I need uh, maybe a good location or perfect place. Like right now, I'm, I'm just I'm just in, in a normal place, just on the wall like you can see I, because I'm on track. I'm not at home right now. I'm in Bomet County and uh, all I need to do is I don't need to do so many things All I need is just my camera equipment and my ring light and maybe one light and I can be able to explain Because as long as you have a good camera, you have good audio, you have good filming equipment You can be able to pass your message very well. Nobody wants to hear bad voice. Nobody wants to hear bad audio Imagine if you had to struggle listening to me 
you will just switch off and go away but because you're listening and it's interesting to you and the video is nice and the light is okay you will want to watch more and then you will come back and you will want to buy whichever service that I can put on offer you will want to come for my course you will want to come to my seminar or on business or whichever thing that I always want to uh, put down there because social media is, is just is thinking it's all about the mind game is all about working smart it's all about changing the way you do things all right and the other point is have a scheduling plan plan how do you schedule your videos for me when i started i was doing uh i was doing videos uh scheduling videos every tuesday thursday and sundays at 8 p.m in the evening but then i realized that uh, I did a little bit of research and started realizing that uh, it's not giving me the traffic that I want because most of the time 8 p.m. especially like let's say on a Sunday most people are watching uh, their family shows and people are just from date dinners and all that is a weekend so 8 p.m. most people are busy doing other things so I said can I be able to change my time frame and see which one can be of great help and which can give me better traffic so that I can have more people watching my content. And I found out that if I put my videos on Mondays, like every video that I post uh, from that time, uh, let's just say from now or a few uh, days ago, it's Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays and at 8 a.m. in the morning. Why 8 a.m. in the morning? 8 a.m. is because most of the people that uh, when they wake up, most of the Kenyans or most of the Africans or anyone in the world, when they wake up in the morning, the first thing they want to check is their social media. They want to see who said what, who was where, what happened over the night, who is trending, all those kind of things. In the morning, just think about yourself. Whenever you wake up, the first thing you always touch you know right now life has been very funny people hardly touch their bibles and I actually tell you guys touch your bibles is, is about time you know touch your bibles the first thing then social media the second of course i'm not 100 percent perfect but most of the people what i'm trying to say is that they, they they go to their mobile phones and put on data and just check who said what so that's a very good time to post my video so i do mondays 8 a.m Wednesdays 8 a.m. Fridays 8 a.m. Why did I put those sequence? Because any pu putting a sequence is like you're giving your your viewers a promise. I'm promising you that every Wednesday you'll find a video. Every Monday you'll find a video. Every Friday you'll find a video. You see, so give your viewers a promise, and they'll become good and loyal buyers to whatever product or service that you want to sell to them. All right, and the final. Um, the final point is become passionate and let others see the passion. Become passionate. Uh, you see, if, if you're not passionate about something, you don't expect someone else to feel the passion that you have. If you're not happy about something, you're not showing the emotion in you, how do you expect others to see the emotion that you're trying to uh, depict to them? It, it's never going to work. So if you want other people to see and feel the way you're feeling, the way you're wearing that shoe and you're saying, wow, that shoe just made me feel the best I could ever feel. So guys, I recommend you that you buy this shoe. I sell these shoes in this and these places. When I wear that shoe, this is how I feel. Or maybe a certain watch, I'm wearing this watch. And whenever I buy this watch, I feel like this and like that. And this is the watch that I'm recommending to you guys. It's never going to work if you don't show the passion because passion is what sells. Show the feeling, show how you're going to feel. Even when you're going on a date, just imagine you're sitting here and the lady you're trying to date is here and you have no passion, no, no nothing, no emotions, no anything. No matter how good of a guy you may be or good of a lady you may be, the other person is going to say, this is just a waste of time. This person is going to make my life miserable because they have no passion on anything. So have a passion, have something, feel whatever you're selling, feel because feeling is what sells. Feeling is what gives you business. So this is exactly how you can be able to turn your passion, what you love most into a business. You can convert this by letting other people see it and feel with you 
until they become your clients hope this one has inspired you in one way or another and uh, definitely if you've been inspired by this video kindly you can subscribe down there there's a subscription button and of course hit that notification button so that you don't miss any video which comes along you can share you can comment you can like and even if you're in facebook kindly tell your other guys or instagram just to watch this video because i'm sure you'll have educated someone somewhere there god bless you have a blessed time i love you guys Thank you.